I'm no stranger to a floor jack, a block of wood, and a jack stand, but when I purchased my Ford Mach-E, I was concerned about using this style of jack stand along with a block of wood because of where we have to jack the car up. So what I did is I did away with the block of wood and the old jack stand, and I purchased a rubber that's more like a hockey puck. And then I also purchased some new jack stands that have a rubber top on it, more like a lift. The Mach-E Mustang has four lifting points, as we all probably know since we're watching this video. Uh, at the four corners of the car, if you have a lift, that is a great thing. Most of us don't have a lift. The, what the concern for me was is where to jack up the car to place the jack stands underneath. And doing some research, I found that the perimeter frame around the battery, which is aluminum, is what Ford wants you to jack on uh, in the normal locations. This is aluminum, so you wanna make sure you use something soft so you don't dig into it. It's also extremely important that you don't slip off of this aluminum because then it will damage the bodywork. With this, this is meant for pinch welds and it actually works out well where the center part goes right over one of the bolts. So what we wanna do is we wanna jack the car up towards the center balance point along this frame, which is the perimeter frame on the battery, place our stands underneath and go around to the other side of the car and do that. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our jack here. And it's also very important to have good jack maintenance. If you can't push your jack easily, your jack is not gonna work properly. What I mean by that is when we jack the jack up, it will actually go in. So when we're jacking the car, we wanna make sure the jack is traveling in or the car is sliding back. In this case, I'm in ideal conditions. The car is on a flat level surface that's clean. So I'm gonna be watching the jack to make sure the jack moves in as I go up with it. I found on the Mach-E, the fourth bolt back from the front of the car is pretty close to the center point. This is the Mach-E Performance Edition, which does have the extended range battery and it has a front motor. So the extended range battery has more battery packs in the back and the extended, the motor in the front actually gives it more weight toward the front to give it almost a perfect 50-50 weight distribution. So what we'll do is we'll drop this down. We'll get underneath here. Now we don't wanna jack on this back rail back here. We wanna jack up on the outer rail, but we wanna make sure that this pad is secure all the way to the back. Now it's going to flex up on the plastic um, bodywork piece underneath. There's nothing to be concerned about. It does pop right back down and there's really no way around this. Even if you put your car on a lift, it's going to do it this way. So we'll go ahead and we'll jack the car up. As you can see here, it's lifting fairly level. You want to make sure you get your car high enough to get the stands underneath, but you don't want to go too high. And I was watching the jack as it went in. We're going to slide the jack stands under in the factory locations. I'm going to jack this just a little bit more. These jack stands have large rubber pads on them. And one more shot. So now everything's sitting nice and level. We'll let the jack down slowly. So now we've got the first part of our Mustang up in the air here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and spin this around. Now that we've got the other side of the Mach-E jacked up, a little bit of TV trickery here, which is easier than setting up the camera again. I do have the driver's side jacked up now, but what we wanna do is we're gonna jack the car in the same location as on the driver's side, the fourth bolt back. Things we want to watch out for as we're jacking is that the stands on the other side are not moving. The stands that I'm using now are extremely sturdy and they have a good spread on the feet. By that meaning it, it covers a larger area and it's less likely to tip over. Depending on the stands that you're using, this could be an issue. Also the surface that you're using. If you're on gravel or even grass, you can do this, but you're going to need to put something underneath of the jack stands as well as the jack so it rolls properly. So let's go ahead and let's get jacking up the uh, passenger side here. We'll roll the jack up underneath. We'll look for that fourth bolt back. We'll get our rubber disc all the way up against the 
frame on the battery and we'll start jacking the car up. Now, as we're jacking, we wanna watch the stands on the other side. Sometimes it might be easier to get somebody to help you uh, spot the stands on the other side. Okay, now we have them up high enough. We'll slide them underneath into the factory jacking locations. And then we'll drop the car down slowly. Hopefully this video helped you be able to understand how important it is uh, to jack the Mach-E safely to protect the battery. Also, how the frame on the Mach-E works as far as the perimeter frame on the battery uh, is what we're jacking on, as well as proper stands and the type of stand to use. The jack stands that I'm using, I actually purchased on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below, as well as the jack pad. Once again, I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and uh, enjoy your Mach-E. I'm certainly enjoying mine.